how to create a scatter plot chart and add a trend line. Okay, so we're going to look at the correlation between two variables. And of course, you can use a Spearman's rank correlation coefficient and calculate it um, statistically. <clears throat> but to support that, you can also create a uh, scatter plot chart. So you choose your two variables. We're lo looking to see if there's a correlation between birth rate and fertility rate. Highlight the cells, insert, and we choose our scatter plot. Now we can get rid of our title because we know that if we're going to drop it into something, we will add a figure um, number and figure title um, as our caption underneath. So before we get too confused with things, what we do need to do is add our axis labels. So if your plus sign is not coming up on the right, and mine's not, you can go into add chart element, you can turn in axis title, so we can do primary. So our primary is going up to 25, so we can see that that is our birth rate per 100, sorry, 1000. And we can also add our vertical axis, which is our fertility rate. Um, okay, so we've got those. The other thing we can do is we can get rid of a lot of this spare space that we're not needing. So we can actually change our axes. So we can format the axis. We can change our minimum boundary to, say, 10. And then, of course, um, we can also do the same on our y-axis. So we can format that axis and we can change that boundary, let's say, to 1. Okay, so it just spreads out the data, makes it a little bit easier to see. Now what we want to do is we want to add our trend line. So again, add chart element. We go to trend line, but this time I want you to go to more trend line options. And the reason we want to do that is we want to identify this R squared value. So we tick on R squared value. And we can see it comes up with a number 0.9225. We want that number to be as close to 1 as it possibly can be. So with a linear trend line, it's 0.9225. Logarithmically, it's lower. Polynomial, it is higher. Let's just check that. Yes, it's higher at 0.9662. So it's more representative of what we're seeing with our points. 9662, let's go to power. 0.91 it's lower and we don't worry too much about moving averages. So our closest trend line is actually a polynomial trend line and if we wish to we can actually add the equation on the chart which allows us then to forecast into the future. If you wanted to forecast into the future knowing that that trend line is fairly um, appropriate we can actually decide that we want to forecast two periods into the future and it can expand it out for us. So interestingly, we can choose as many of those periods as we want to. Um, we don't need to go just by two. We can go up for four, six, eight, whatever you need it to. It can project what could possibly happen into the future. Okay, so there's our scatter plot chart with a trend line where we know the R squared value and we know the lines equation as well and we have forecasts into the future.